Okay, take two. Monka Travel Rideshare now. Same channel, new gig. I tried doing this earlier. I was at the airport. I, I thought it was going to be some free time because every time I go to the airport to do a pickup, I end up staying an hour uh, for one ride. So uh, I think that's ridiculous. Set out there for an hour to take somebody from the airport to Knoxville to make fifteen dollars. So here we start this uh, this new gig. As you know, I broke my shoulder. I'm in phase two part. No sling. Driving. Uh, physical therapy. I don't see my surgeon for two months. Got okay on everything. It's healing. We're getting back into it. I hope that next summer I can swim. So let's just count it and see how we go. What I'd like to do today and tonight, since I didn't have time earlier, I don't have anything written down. Just waiting on Lou now to finish up with her uh, her job. A couple, 20 minutes or so. Then she'll go to another place and I'll drive for another hour, hour and a half for Sunday, Sunday night, 24th. So I started on the 4th of November and this is my 20th day. I've been paid three times. Uh, Lyft approved me quite quickly. And also, I'm not hawking the $50 uh, bonus that I can get by putting a link down below, not doing any of that. This is just information that I want uh, old drivers, new drivers, and regular drivers, uh, especially if you're McGee Tyson, Knoxville area, whatever. And maybe this is for the new drivers because I certainly didn't know this uh, information that I'm getting ready to sp spill out, which uh, I don't think it's bad. I, I think it's okay. You just, you got to know. Got the email a couple of days ago. They had a promotion, 125 rides in a month, and you get a $1,000 bonus. And you probably heard this already uh, on the YouTube uh, about the bonus and everything. Um, so I thought, well, I'm going to bust my ass. I'm going to get my 1000 I'm going to buy that new QLED that I wanted, that new TV. But I read this email. And man, did they lay it out to you that it's not an extra thousand. It's only a thousand for the month if you get your 125 rides. So let's say that you go to UT campus. Each ride is $2.66, no tips. Let's say you make 125 rides. Do the math. Let's say you made $500, maybe 600. I don't know, whatever it is. If you got your 125 rides in that period, they would bump you up to $1,000. So your monthly is going to be a grand. That's it. Uh, you still got to take out your gas, your wear. I bought new tires from a new car that I got. Uh, so, you know, I'm probably already negative on my earnings. I don't know yet because the month's not over yet. And I'm still earning. So uh, what we want to do is say that if you work for uber only you will make more money especially in knoxville i'm sure this place is saturated i know i go up to the airport sometimes and there's 18 dudes up there or people driving for lyft and they all want to ride on that japanese businessman coming in to work for denzo to take them to knoxville or something give them a hundred dollar tip ain't gonna happen ain't going to happen. But I will tell you this. I took my Japanese from the airport down to Athens, Tennessee, 56 mile drive. And I even went back and picked him up. And it was on Uber. Because these Japanese don't have Lyft overseas. They have Uber. Uber is worldwide, and you all know that now. And if you don't, Uber's worldwide. Lyft is USA only. So, for the last four days that I've been doing the Uber and not the Lyft because I found out that I'm not going to make an extra grand, I just cut Lyft off. I said, okay, I already had $190 with them plus my cash tips. I don't know what that is. I don't even count my tips. I just put them in a box. But I said, I can 
increase my salary for the next week between the 23rd or no 22nd when I found out until the 30th by doing Uber only and I'll make more than the thousand that I was only guaranteed. So, um, I don't hang out at the airport. This, uh, this airport ride is fine. You got to get in line. It's okay if you know when the trips come in. I generally know when the trips come in because I hang at McGee Tyson and that's my airport that I fly in and out of to go to Knoxville. I've been flying in that airport a long time and, uh, it can be lucrative, I think, but, um, if you sit out there and you wait an hour and you don't get a ride or it takes an hour to get a ride, I can have already been dry. I could have already drove to Knoxville campus, West Knoxville, uptown, downtown. Doesn't matter. As soon as I cross the river rides, I get, in, they just keep sending them. Uber just keeps sending them. I just keep collecting them. If they want to wait 10 minutes before I get through, they can wait. They're happy. I've got 5.0. I know I'm still only got maybe 49 rides or something like that with Uber. Um, so, you know, and uh, I, I did decline some rides earlier because I didn't know how to use the app. And I was switching between Lyft earlier on in the middle of the month between Lyft and Uber. Didn't really understand that. Watching some of these videos, you know, there's a lot of good Uber, Lyft rideshare videos out there. I'm not going to name any names. I don't tattletale on anybody and I don't lie. So this is just FYI information. And, uh, you know, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. I don't ask anybody to sub subscribe or like. You can leave comments all you want. I, I don't make money off YouTube is what I'm saying. So, uh, I will be doing an unboxing, though, next Saturday for the new WM3900 HBA washer, front load, LG, and the matching dryer. My wife and I bought that uh, this past Saturday. It'll be delivered on Saturday. And uh, I've looked at uh, three or four of the 3900 model uh, LGs, and they look good. They look good. It's a good washer, good dryer, and it's not going to mess up your clothes. If you have good clothing, don't use the Maytag or any of that crap. It's just going to rip your clothes, and that's that's not what you want. Invest in that, and you will be happy. I'm sure I'm going to be happy. I've never used the LG, but I've had the Millie and the Indesit when I lived overseas, and I think this is equivalent. So let's get back onto the ride share. The Uber on its own with no lift in the background, you do pretty good. You only have to concentrate on the Uber. The Uber is going to make you the money anyway. If you get a ride and you know you're going to take that ride and they're going to wait, punch it. I've done long rides. I did the Japanese. That was a fluke. Picked up the old uh, Japanese guy, took him down to the Denso in Athens from Knoxville Airport. He enjoyed the ride very much. Excellent tip, nice ride, 56 minutes, 56 miles, whatever it was. And he said, next Sunday, I want you to pick me up. And I said, all right. Or no, it was next Friday. He came in on a Sunday, last Sunday, and he went out this past Friday. So what we did was we kept in touch. And because I can't do and will not do, um, and I've been asked because I do give my business card out, and, uh, but I asked the people, I said, please let me know in advance. If I come down to your location, I'll turn on the Uber. You can ask for the ride. If I get you, okay. If I don't, I don't. But because Athens is kind of slow and slow, I got down there. We were SMSing. He came out to the car. He said, I'm going to ask for the Uber. He asked for it. I got it. We went back to the airport. Same as it was the, uh, the, the, the Sunday before going the opposite direction. Got good tip, got good feedback, and he'll be back in another week. We'll try to do the same thing if we can. If not, maybe I'll just bring him back. Didn't know. 
I did deadhead in each direction on the way back, which is fine. However, on the way back the first time, when I got up close to Knoxville, just outside of West Knoxville, Campbell Station Road, I turned it on. I picked up a couple at a restaurant, took them up to downtown. That got me right back into it. So I didn't completely lose uh, 20 or 25 miles from the Campbell Station to Knoxville downtown. I picked that up, and then I was back into the Knoxville mix. Uh, Knoxville could be saturated with drivers. I don't know. I I'm not going to say how much money I'm making. There's no bragging rights here. This is a part-time gig. I can't do my regular job. I've got this shoulder injury. You've seen from the other video about my shoulder injury and everything. Uh, I've lost 43 pounds, six pant sizes, feel good. Uh, got the new car, got the new place uh, with my wife, Lou. Uh, she got here, you saw that video, she got here and uh, Four days later, she got a social security card in the mail. That was unbelievable. I don't know how she worked that out. She said it was with the visa, so all right. And two days later, she got a full-time job. So she's a psychologist. She has a degree, so it wasn't uh, wasn't hard for her to get employment. Speaks four languages, so props to Lou. And uh, she's in there working right now. We're both working. Uh, it's not my regular gig, but it's all right. Uber and Lyft will work until it ends. And I don't know if I'll uh, be taking off. I will tell another story about Lyft. This is this is this is a funny story. I don't know. Maybe people can relate to it. I don't know. I've been driving for Lyft five or six days. I was scared, apprehensive at first, but after our first few rides, you get used to it. People are normally chatty. If they're not, don't talk to them, this and that. But I had two young girls, and uh, they wanted to go somewhere. They were in Maryville. They were vaping in the car. I didn't say much. I said, if you want to vape, you just roll the windows down. I wasn't going to start an argument or anything with them or anything and they were going such a short period of time, a short distance I didn't I didn't worry about it but the next night I was dropping a lady off or a student off and it says your lift account has been deactivated and is on hold I thought oh hell and I wasn't even on Uber so I couldn't switch over to the platform I had to dry. I had to sit around for two days before uh, they got it cleared up. So apparently they said I was driving intoxicated. I don't drink alcohol. I don't take uh, even two months, three months ago, I said that I stopped everything. It's on the video. You can see it. I was at the airport. Since this injury at, uh, with the shoulder, no, nothing clean clean urine I could get any job that I could qualify for now just because I have a clean urine analysis but at any rate I wondered who it could be I knew I'd only taken a couple of businessmen on that Saturday before and even a couple other professionals from the airport t took to their hotel I didn't think it was them they were normal people like my regular customers are now but those two girls stood out and I thought to myself, I said, you know, they were trying to get, it was $2.66. They wanted a free ride for two sixty six. dollars Okay. They may have even been underage. But I thought if they were vaping, maybe they're 18 or older. Who knows? But Lyft contacted me. I told them, I said, I don't drink. I don't do any drugs at all. And, uh... I take this job very seriously, and I do. Uh, I have the insurance. I have everything, fully covered with everything. But uh, a couple of days later, uh, they reached out to me and said, okay, you're reinstated. Uh, and I looked back, and it said, those last five drives, it said uh, unavailable. You couldn't leave a, a rating or anything for them. And 
couldn't find any information about that ride. They had they had blanked it out or something. So that's fine. Unlike now, when I take a ride, I can rate my passenger five stars and put a little type of little thank you or cheers or whatever I put in there. So they were either underage or both underage and trying to get a free ride indicated to me that I had been drinking alcohol or un intoxicated somehow or driving under the influence. So whatever uh, you have to be careful what you speak about. Um, I'd say that 98% of my customers are straight laced. I had a couple of guys that uh, could have been just doing something, but I don't talk about it. I don't talk to them. I don't play the music. Uh, I did have one lady. Uh, I had just bought two bottles of water just because I wanted some cold water to drink while I was driving because I don't, I haven't stocked the car with water or gum or anything yet. It's a good idea. I think I, I, I probably will. I've got some tissue packs in there, these little uh, tissues. I'll show them to you. These little things here, these puffs, just in case. And I didn't even offer that to the girl that was crying the other night. I went to a hotel. The valet came out and said, we put in a random address. Uh, she'll tell you where she's going. We got to the end of the parking lot and she told me where and I put it in the GPS and of course it wasn't on and I didn't ask her to update. It had Robert, so it may have been the valet that took her there anyway. She cried the entire way. She must have lost a family member or some friend or something, but I put it in there. I took her to her place and she talked on the phone the whole way. I didn't say much. Got her there in the driveway and I said, I'm sorry. And uh, I said, take this cold water. I had already given the other cold water to a father that was coming in to watch his daughter swim at University of Tennessee Stokely Athletic Center on Saturday. It came in on Friday. So uh, that night after that, I had that extra water. And I said, here, take that. You might want that to drink later. And she said, my name is Nicole and this and that. And I said, I'm Gregory and all that. She said, thank you for getting me here safe. And she pulled, I could hear her doing the money. It was dark, I didn't have the light on. I said, here's my business card, gave it to her. And she said, here, this is for you. Thank you for getting me here safe. And uh, I, I will use Uber all the time. And I thought, well, that's, that's what it's about. Uh, Rideshare is about getting people to work, get them home safe, get them to places, pick them up, take them wherever they need to go. Uh, Everybody needs a lift. If you, I get asked about this gig, do I like it? Uh, I'm not hawking any kind of code or anything to get fifty dollars from you. No need. There's too many others out there. Look somebody else. Get it from them. Not going to get it from me. I just don't want. I don't need that money that way. Um, I get the money that I earn doing my job, taking the job seriously. Uh, you need to dress as well as you can. Keep the car spotless. I mean, even my wife helps me because of my uh, injury. Clean the car. I wash it, car wash every day. I go to the Magic. I pay $24.99. It's normally $16.99 for one time. I know people say that's a waste of money. It goes on the expense account. I put it on there. I use the wash. Unless it's pissing rain, I do not wash the car. So I use that every day. I use the free vacuums every day. Keep the car clean, tidy. And I've got well over 34 uh, clean cars, good driver, friendly, all that, whatever those four or five uh, areas are. And uh, I, I did hit some declines simply because I didn't know how to use the app. And this is 19 minutes and 34 seconds, and I'm cutting it at 20 minutes. I don't want to ramble and digress with this, but uh, if you want to leave your comment, that's fine. No bail, no subscription. I'm going to do, I'll do more videos coming up. And then hopefully next year we can get back on the travel videos and uh, food vlogs. 
signing off. I'll see you guys at McGee Tyson. TYS, out.